Everybody and welcome to the Grammy nominations wrap-up show. What a morning! Seriously. Hey, I'm Cassie Delora, and I'm Denny Directo. It is a very special day today. The Grammy nominations have officially been announced, and we love Nominations mm -hmm. Day because we get to find out which of our favorite musicians are being honored for their incredible artistry. Now there is a lot to get excited about this year. We are seeing tons of first-time mm -hmm. nominees, plus both breakthrough and established artists, of course, that are being recognized. There are also new Grammy categories that we have to talk about. So we are here to break down mm -hmm. everything we just learned, so let's dive right into this year's leading nominees, shall we? It has been an incredible year for women music creators. It sure has. Yes. Let's start with the woman who is leading the pack today. We are talking about SZA, who is actually all this year's most nominated artist in nine categories, including Album of the Year for SOS. Now, she is also up for Record of the Year and Song of the Year, which means after today's nominations, she has... 24 wow. Grammy nominations to her name. We'll move it on to someone else who is also up for multiple Grammys this year, Phoebe Bridgers. She's got seven nominations today, six of which are with her super group Boy Genius, and more on them in just a moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next up is someone who is no stranger to the Grammy stage. I mean, can you imagine being a 45-time Grammy nominee? Literally, no. <laughs> that is the case for engineer Serban Ghania, who yeah. scored seven noms this year, including for John Batiste's Worship, Olivia Rodrigo's Vampire, and Taylor Swift's Antihero. Someone else we're really excited to watch this year, Victoria Monet. Mm -hmm. Having been previously nominated for her work with Ariana Grande and Chloe and Halle, Victoria's fans are gonna be very happy. She's getting a lot of love <laughs> today for her debut studio album, Jaguar 2. She's up for seven awards, including Best New Artist. Now, producer extraordinaire Jack Antonoff is also a leading nominee today with six, including his fifth consecutive nomination for, of course, Producer of the Year. John Batiste could return to the Grammy stage this year if he wins one of the six awards he's up for, including Record of the Year, Album of the Year, Song of the Year, and Best Jazz Performance. Now, have you noticed just how much range is in mm. this list of nominees? I mean, we are seeing artists from so many different genres being honored this year. We love to see it. We do. Now, we mentioned Phoebe Bridgers just a mm -hmm. minute ago. Included in her seven nominations are six with the supergroup Boy Genius. Phoebe's band with Julian Baker and Lucy Dacus is also topping the list of most nominated artists this year with six. And the group, get this, is also a first-time ah. nominee. All right, let's move on to Brandy Clark, who, as of today, is a 17-time Grammy nominee. The country star is celebrating six nods today, including her first nomination in the Best Musical Theater Album category for Shucked. There's that range. Right? Yeah. <laughs> for the very first time, she also landed on the list for Best Americana Performance and Best American Roots Song. It's also an exciting year for Miley Cyrus. She also scored six nods, including one for album of the year for Endless Summer Vacation, which actually marks the first time Miley has been recognized in the category for one of her own albums. Among her other nominations, though, first in the record, song, and best pop solo performance categories. Now, let's flash back for a second. You'll remember during the 62nd Grammy Awards, mm -hmm. Billie Eilish right. walked away with the coveted Best New Artist trophy. Now, only four years later, at the 66th Grammys, she is back with six nominations, bringing her total number of career nominations to 25. This is also the fourth time Billy has been nominated in the general field categories, Record of the Year and Song of the Year simultaneously. Then there's Olivia Rodrigo, who spilled her guts to fans with her sophomore mm -hmm. album, and now she's gained some serious recognition with six nominations, including her first in the rock category for Ballad of a Homeschooled Girl. If she wins, she would add to her current collection of three Grammys, which she took home during the 64th annual Grammys. Look at her go. Right. Also, I think I have to play the lottery because six <laughs> is also the number of nominations scored by Miss Americana herself, Taylor Allison Swift. Taylor continues to be in her history making mm. error. Get this, with her album of the year nomination for Midnight's, Taylor now ties with the one and only Barbra Streisand on. for the most nominations in the field by a woman in Grammy history, or should I say her history? I love it. <laughs> All right, let's dig in now to some of the big categories that everybody's gonna be watching come Grammy night. Of course, there are lots of awards that get handed out, but for music fans, 
the Album of the Year category is always one of the night's most anticipated prizes. Sure is. Right. Now take a look at this list of eight nominees. First up, we've got John Batiste with World Music Radio. John is now a 20-time Grammy nominee and five-time winner. He also won this category back in 2022. Next up is Boy Genius. Proof that when you get three genre-defining songwriters together to make some music, an album worthy of a Grammy statue is the result. Okay, so Miley Cyrus is also on this list for her eighth studio album, Endless Summer Vacation. Mm. This is, of course, the first time one of Miley's albums has landed in this category, so how exciting for her. Very, very. Now, Lana Del Rey's album, Did You Know That There's a Tunnel Under Ocean Boulevard, is also up for album of the year. It's actually her second album to be nominated. Next up, Janelle Monet, who dropped The Age of Pleasure back in June. Her first new album in five years. Look at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Olivia Rodrigo's Guts is also on the list. Olivia, of course, is no stranger to the Grammy stage. She previously won three Grammys at the 64th ceremony, including for Best New Artist, Best Pop Vocal Album, and Best Pop Solo Performance. She's also showing her range with her first nomination in a rock category for Ballad of a Homeschooled Girl. And... Taylor Swift's Midnight's Era has snagged her an Album of the Year nomination as well. We have to take a second to mention just how noteworthy mm -hmm. this year's Album of the Year nomination is for Taylor because if she wins, she'll become the first artist ever to win in this category four times. Wow. She's yeah. currently actually tied for most Album of the Year wins with legends like Frank Sinatra, Paul Simon, and Stevie Wonder. Incredible. She already is the first and only female solo artist to win the Grammy for mm -hmm. Album of the Year three times for solo recordings, including Fearless, 1989, and Folklore. Okay, next up is SZA, who, as we mentioned, is the, the, the most nominated artist this year. Her album, SOS, rounds out this category, her first album to score a nomination. SOS, of course, is her blockbuster sophomore album released in December of 2022, and it was adored by both fans and critics, and Denny. Uh -huh. And can we mention again, women absolutely dominating in this category. I love it. I love it. That's also true in this next category, actually. Record of the year. Now, reminder, this is the category that recognizes the artists, producers, and recording engineers. Starting with John Batiste's worship. Now, he said back in his emotional 2022 Grammy acceptance speech that music for him is a spiritual practice. Mm. And it's clear that is still the case with this latest release. Next up. Boy Genius up for Not Strong Enough. The supergroup's seven nominations today are first for two of the band's three members, Lucy Dacus and Julian Baker. Okay, record of the year now could go to Miley Cyrus for her self-love anthem, Flowers. Are we surprised here? No. A song that has been streamed over a billion, that's with a B, billion times on Spotify. Speaking of B, Billie <laughs> Eilish is What Was I Made For, the song that took over TikTok upon the release of the Barbie movie. Billy co-wrote this with her brother and producer, Phineas O'Connell. On My Mama is also on this list from Victoria Monet, who is celebrating her first nominations as an artist and whose previous Grammy nods were as a producer on Ariana Grande's album, Thank You Next, and Chloe and Halle's Do It. All right, next up, Olivia Rodrigo for Vampire and Taylor Swift's Antihero. These two songs have something in common with John Batiste's Worship. All three were engineered and mixed by Serbian Gania, who now has a whopping 45 Grammy nominations to their name. Wow. Finally, in this category, SZA's hit Kill Bill, her first solo song to be nominated in the Record of the Year and Song of the Year categories. Speaking of Song of the Year, let's talk let's about do it. it. Reminder, this category recognizes the song writers. Now, here's this year's list. A&W by Lana Del Rey, which is her second nomination in this category. And fans know that Lana is nominated alongside her collaborator, Jack Antonoff, who is a double nominee in the category because he also helped make Taylor Swift's song, Antihero. Both Jack and Taylor said they never expected the single to hit number one. Really? But I know, right? I would have loved to see their Grammy reaction <laughs> totally. because we all knew this was mm -hmm. a hit the first time we heard it. Sure did. Okay. John Batiste's Butterfly, a song written for his beautiful wife who is recovering from a cancer mm. battle is also getting some recognition on Grammy nomination day and hi Barbie hi. Barbie's dance theme dance the night by Dua Lipa also made the list of nominees now a few more 
Flowers by Miley Cyrus, the pop star's first ever nomination in this category. Kill Bill by SZA. This is also her first time being up for an award for Song of the Year. And we're saying it again because <laughs> it bears repeating, SZA, today's top nominee with 24 career nominations. Now, Olivia Rodrigo's haunting track, Vampire, marks the second time she's been nominated for Song album and record of the year simultaneously. I keep saying this, but look at her go. I love it. And last but not least, Billie Eilish's Barbie ballad, What Was I Made For, scores another nomination here, bringing its total to four. Now, Cassie, what do Adele, John Legend, mm. and Maroon 5 have in common? They're a lot better singers than I am. <laughs> and they're also all Grammy winners, but more specifically, they mm. have all at one point in Grammy history taking home the award for Best New Artist. And look at them now. I know, right? <laughs> Here are this year's nominees for one of the night's most anticipated categories. Gracie Abrams, the 24-year-old singer-songwriter whose critically acclaimed debut album, Good Riddance, was released in February, and you may have caught her opening for Taylor Swift on the Aeros Tour. South London DJ Fred again launched his solo career in 2020. Three years later, he is selling out venues, headlining Coachella, and is up for a Best New Artist Grammy. Next up, she was crowned rap's new princess in 2023. We're to of course talking about Ice Spice. Mm -hmm. Her breakout year included hit singles, plus collabs with people like Nicki Minaj and Taylor Swift. And then also, you know you've made it when you have an entire fandom named after your music. Shout out to the Munchkins. Munchkins. <laughs> All right. Next up, his songs, Son of a Sinner and Need a Favor, helped Jelly Roll climb the charts and become the new face of country music. Now he's in the running for Best New Artist and Best Country Duo Group Performance for Save Me with Lainey Wilson. Former Disney Channel star turned viral hit maker Coco Jones also lands on the list of Best New Artist nominees. As she puts it, her music career has been a long time coming, <laughs> even though she's only 25 years that old. <laughs> but she is bringing a fresh new brand of R&B to everybody's ears. A few more in this Best New Artist category. We got Noah Kahn, the New England folk pop singer-songwriter is already selling out stadiums and riding a huge wave from his 2022 album, Stick Season. Okay, then Victoria Monet. Mm -hmm. You've heard her name a few times today. That is because she's actually the only leading nominee who is also nominated for Best New Artist. In addition to, of course, Record of the Year, she is also up for Best R&B Performance, Best R&B Album, Best Engineered Album, Non-Classical, and do you have your pens out? I am. And Best Traditional R&B Performance. And finally, rounding out a very talented list of artists, the soulful duo of the War and Treaty. That includes Michael Trotter Jr. and Tanya Trotter. They blend blues, country, and rock, and have rightfully earned their spot on this list after show-stopping performances and, of course, their 2023 album, Lover's Game. Now, once again, those are the 2023 Grammy nominees. Now, let's take a look at our nominees by the numbers. Yes, because in addition to all of the unbelievable talent we just mentioned, Today's announcements are also an incredible picture of some of the amazing trends happening in the music industry today. Yes, for starters, a majority of this year's leading nominees are women That's artists right. or groups. And women are dominating as the majority of this year's leading nominees in the general and pop fields. We love to see mm -hmm. it. Women also dominate the best pop solo performance category, which features nominees like Miley Cyrus, Doja Cat, Billie Eilish, Olivia Rodrigo, and Taylor Swift. What a lineup. <laughs> What's even more exciting is that this year, even more artists are getting the chance to bring Grammy Gold home because even more categories are being added. So even more mm -hmm. artists from around the globe will be recognized for their contributions. Now, the new categories are Best Alternative Jazz Album, Best Pop Dance Recording, and Best African Music Performance, where four out of the five nominees are also first-time nominees. Let's take a look at those artists being recognized in this category. They include Ama Piano by Ashake and Olamide, City Boys by Burna Boy, Unavailable by David O featuring Musa Keys, Rush by Ira Starr, and Water by Tyla. Africa is absolutely full mm -hmm. of creative and brilliant musical offerings, and this new category will help this community of music professionals highlight and reflect the incredible momentum in music happening there. Mm -hmm. yeah. We love to dive into those numbers and break everything down, of course, but what some viewers at home don't often hear about is the behind-the-scenes efforts. Yep, thousands of entries were submitted for Grammy consideration, with Recording Academy voting members submitting their votes during the Grammy Awards process. 
Those members are active members of the music community, including recording artists, songwriters, producers, and engineers. By the way, if you've been admiring these ah. uh, casual fits of ours <laughs> while we've been recapping all of this morning's exciting news, we have good news for mm -hmm. you. This Grammy season, you can upgrade your style. I love it. While amplifying our model. mission, right? Yes. Jay, he, he's getting a little too comfortable. Head over to Amazon.com slash Grammys <laughs> to check out a brand new collection featuring exclusive limited run Grammy merch. Whether you find something for yourself mm -hmm. or for a fellow music fan, roll into Grammy season looking fresh. I feel like I know my <laughs> Christmas gifts for Seriously. everybody. Right. All right, y'all. As much as we love Nominations Day and what a day it has been wow. so far, it is sadly time for us to say goodbye. We cannot thank you enough for joining us to help us celebrate and honor this incredible list of nominees. So thank you so much. And of course, the countdown to the Grammy Awards is <laughs> now officially on. Everybody is going to be watching on February 4th to see who takes home the Grammy gold. But before we go, we'd like to give a special thank you to City National Bank, our proud nominations and premier ceremony sponsor, a great partner, and the official bank of the Grammy Awards. And again, don't forget to tune in to the Latin Grammys on November 16th and, of course, the 66th Grammy Awards telecast on February 4th. I wouldn't miss it, Cass. I wouldn't miss I it really for the world. Wouldn't. Bye, everybody.